Good morning, everyone who are watching our program today. May God bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. May God's protection be upon you. May the peace of God be with you and your family. We are here today to talk about family. Many families nowadays have been really affected by many problems. Fighting, addictions, divorce, misunderstanding, a lot of fights inside of many houses. Some people, they don't have even peace when they go to bed to sleep. They take time to fall asleep because of so many problems inside of the house. That's why in the Universal Church, we are preparing ourselves to start this great campaign of faith, my family in the shelter of God Most High. And today we are going to talk to you about this purpose of faith. And I would like to invite you who are watching us from whatever side in this country. We have people watching us from prison, from the correctional center, from hospital. I would like to invite you to join us for this great and powerful movement of faith. My family in the shelter of God Most High. Prepare your bottle of water, glass of water. Because closer to the end of this program, we are going to say a prayer on your behalf for you to receive God's peace inside of your house, for your family to be united and not divided, for you to be happy, we are going to talk to God. Let us watch the testimony, don't flip channels, stay with us, I'll be right back. <laughs> Tampoco Tu <laughs> Ele 
o ongo mātou te ngata le le te leo whainga tāmaru i tau e le mo whaiolo mātou o laina i o leo no mātou sa ili mai le li i ili e kāle siya le mo se fa fō i o i mātou te ili o le atua e alofa ma le atua e whaiwa venga e tasira wale atua e se e se o na tā le ni mana whaamanu yanga e te ngata wā o i se whai evangelia o i se whaamalo lo mai e o ni si whoi e e whai a mo Pasa olo tu ina ia tato mai anganga lele leo le fili mara ti apolo pio ina ana mato sa ili mai u ia mo mato tali sa pai ai ia e wale ngate ina mo wale malo longa io mato ma fau fau matino ia e masia lo mato wola fa le anganga ia o le mea wai ai ia o le o mato mo wale le tali mai le le di tala falava wa u ani ta le man fanga Ya le nau fai lo atu la ma ma ua ma te o mai ui sa moa i upogi le me o lo i an tau langa o pia ia ai o te fai fai le ava no moa pe i fai no fai lo atu te ma ia o le na e fai pe na lo ma ai ngai tau no si o ma te o ai nga tau mo i fai fita uli o na ua ma e le i lo e ma ua le o na fai moa moa le ali i me a sa fia ngai e ma ua tau no ma ai nga E mo i tā tau te whai mai tau te o le lotu, tau te whai lotu mo te tālo a e le o iai le le moni o le whaamua mua le a li i te tono le o le āinga. Ia, o le maa āinga, tū mo i whaawhita auli, whea ngai whaawhita auli i le wā whaale o ngā li e a awhia e le whaanau o taini le vesi. A awhia e maa whaofau o le whaanau. Ia, sa whaapē e nā o nga whea ngai e i maa tau ma le te leo Whaawhita auli te tono lo maa ainga. Ae, na ua mātou o mai e sa ili. Sa a mātou a wai te tono nisi o e kale e sia. Na tātou wola maa so e fua mai te tono sa a mōpe o le e kale e sia. E whaka sa o i nā sa a mātou o mai ai. Ia, e ese whoi le, ese whoi lo uia langona ngai ai. O na oa au. O te le, e te le a me e wa ai e o o mata, o te le tali tonu i ai, na o whai le ilo mata o ai nga. E au ni tatou sa ili, e te le mea o te iloa e au e e au a o ngā le a fio ngā le li, e le ma whai o na o wa ai e i te tonu. O mea sa mata o sa ili ai mo te whofo o na o le whaawhita au le whea ngai pei tonu le ai nga. Ia, o le temi nei talo o no mata o lo rotu i le kale sia ni, Pe tusa nei ma le lua tau sanga pe a, te le o mau wala te to tau sanga talo no mātou a wai le kāle siya ni. Ma au ina o mātou i lo le te leo le suwinga wai i si o mātou a inga. Te le fui o ma ina whea ngai i ma si a ma whā nau, i a ma i ma ua o ma. O ma i loa le mana whā aola o le tuo wai a whaiawa venga i tonu si o ma a inga. Ia e le ngata i lea, o mo le file e mu tonu no mātou a inga. O le file e mu ma le oli oli. Sa se sele mea no maa sa ili e le temi mua mua. Ia e peta i ane. Ine o mua maa o mai maa sa ili i le ali. O i nau o mai loa i le file mu moni. I tu sa lava pe i e le tupe le tanga. Pe tupe pe le tupe. Ta te mau a lava le file mu lea. Ma le oli oli o le ali. E le pe o le mea na ingi le temi mua mua. E le i lo se tupe o nau. Wa vi besi solo maa sa ili i tu. Tu o le nila lo langi. Ae mai se ua whaafia fia solo i mea le nila lo langi. Ae ina ua mātou i nei o mai le awai le e kāle siya ni. O mātou i loa i le file e mua le ali. I mai le oli oli o le ali. E tu o mai toni o mātou loto. So po le ale te leo au mea. Po le ale mau oa o le ata mai le tangata. Ae a se se le whaamu mō mea sa ili ai. Ia o na whaale e tonu leo leo langa. Ia o le a fu ua mo e se tasi o le maa whanau. Se tasi o maa whanau. Lo ua whini, o kāwi, i o leo atu i nātu i le li, i whaao ngā mō le li i malana ngā luenga i le i a tau tua i le li i. O le alawa se whe au, i whaapea fu inisi o le mawhānau, a whaila mo le whina ngālo le o le atua, mō si a mawhānau i a ma i mā ua lama. I tu i nātu o mātou o le au auna i le atua, i o le a whaapea lawa na whai, tātou te muli muli lama. O wā i le i se au ngā tātou te mau i mea le i o langa, a e ma i mau i o tātou wola. 
Ye o lofe tala ifu ila fionga le atua. Yo tatu sa unimo mua le atua mla na amio tono. O na fao popo ina in lea o mea tatu te mana na o hai. Ye o la u fao lo lo ma au le o yeisu ino tele si o mato a ino. O ma fao na toe fao. Ma o popo si o mato a ino. Na se ma nu a fano atu a ima isi si a ma fano. O le tali wa au mai ele li. Wa ia fao ali mai le tele o me tono ma a ino. A ima isi. Olim bahau ima awal itu sama malah cina. Le awal la ia orang nama awal awal ialah mafana. Oleh celo cai mita tu cuma nanti la baca tu mah tu awat tu wujud. Tu tu celi tu awa manua ya tu tu fana. Tu tu cuma nanti oh ifa alung awa ya tu tu fana. Ah tu tu celi mana itu oleh manua si ifa asoh awa ya tu tu fana. Oh tu fakta cai leli ina awa mah awal itu tu. Oleh ekale siel nele universal church. Elif apa oleh lut? A oleh maaf jangan maaf fana fana. Oi maleli, itu yang foi nai lo bola. Macam ui na maleli. O nafa aso a mai leleli. A nafa manu yang a itu nu ya itu oi malu ai na. Ya utu fa fcai foi le naya vanua. Ua mau ai ma ua. Fa aso a tu ai foi a itu nu. Itala fe yang a isai olo ofi a mau sef so suan itu nu lo na ai na. Ina yang fai o nafa sa olo tu mai ai. Fa fi tau lio leo langa te o lima ua yai lo ma ua ai nga. Fa fi tau yai lea lii. O na o la na upu. A wa an na lea si anu a la na upu. Ta jau te lea sa au lo tso mai mea. Fi tau fai tau lio langa. Pe o na ia fe ta lai. Ta jau te o atu ya te ia. E maha maa ya ta jau a venga. A fai e moni. O na e fa o ngai na le upu a lea lii. O ia fo i na te fa a maa maa a venga o ma fu ti anga. Fas pa malo lo yo cha cha wangang. Oli cha li le wa ya au mai mo i ma ua. Ya oli ma fa au lo lo ma au mo li ma fa ma na chu le lo ta cha chu nu po i la wo ma ua mo li ma fa chan no ang. Ya ma te va la au li fa pi chua i ya wa i la wo se ta se o ma na om biel so suan. Ya ma chu te va la au li na chu ni chu su mai i le a su mo mo o ki chu po i le li mai le a fi a fi. Ya le a fa i le ma chu sa u li na fa pi chua i le bor fu. Ya nak oleh atu fe tu fe naik lemah tu oil fak pijo, ya ai mai se foil oleh atu la awal leli, la aw malang mau mai lavai, ina io presiul, ina io mfayun ta tu pak iya ima tango iya ite mau oleh fak mama abenga iya ce oi, ya lemah tu fak lo ma awal lemah fak lo alu fio mai ta tu ma futa biasa. Ya oleh nale tali wa aw mai leli ino ma ai, ai ucewal awlia oil lewo, afai lo emai mau mai. Fo e falongo longo mai fo e po fe alava o e ma awa mai ai. O le ma chou ki vent fa pito le a faya ilea so moa moa o ke topa. Le li mai le a fi a fi. Ye fa a pea o na e susu mai jala mai a au. Au mai lo a inga. Au a o le a fa a pea o na tufa tufa ina i le sua au u. Fa ia fa a pea o na au nga mo lo a inga. Fo a ilava o lo a inga o mai. Le nga cha fo ilea o le a fa a pea o na. Tahu awal ini, ini sih awal awal na aleli. Le atau la awal aleli. Ia fakih 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 na eh mau le awan no oleh ah esa u itu pak ayat tu iya. Mama wa mai ayi fak manu yang ayi mai se le mana oleh aleli. Fakih fakih na fak alawi lo itu cono so se cacing le am fakih fakih na fio mai macam la mai awal ile aso. Ia oleh bala awat tu le. Ia manu ya cile fak manu ya aleli. That's how they do it in the house. The UCKG Helpline Call Center is open 24 hours a day, every day of the week, all year round. If you need help due to a serious problem you may be going through, if you feel that you have nowhere to turn to and desperately need someone to lend a listening ear, then we can help you. It doesn't matter who you are or what you have done, your religion or race. Your call will be answered by someone who genuinely cares about you and have your best interests at heart. We also arrange home visits for the housebound and hospital visits for anyone in great need of kindly human contact. Whether it is simply information you want or desperately need someone to talk to, we're here for you. I have here with me the handkerchief that will be distributed for free for everyone. It is the handkerchief with the prayer of Psalm 91. 
the psalm of protection. God promised here in this Psalm 91. In fact, it was King David who wrote this prayer of protection because many times he used to be at the battlefield and he needs God's protection against the enemies. That's why in the Psalm 91 it mentioned one, a thousand will fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but it will never come near you. Because David, he needs God's protection. And he knew that only have his life in the, in the shelter of God Most High, that way he could be protected against all his enemies. And perhaps this is the protection that you need for your family against divorce, domestic violence, be in a beautiful relationship, the protection against fighting, against anger, against all the problems that have destroyed so many families and caused division in so many houses. Have a look on what is written at Psalm 91, verse 1. Have a look at this Bible verse. King David said, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So I am inviting you who are watching us today for you to come and join us in this great chain of prayer. It will be three months chain of prayer, October, November, December. We are going to end the year working hard to bring our children, to bring our parents, our siblings, our family into the shelter of God Most High. Because only there, they are going to be protected. Many people, they try to protect their children, their families, have fences around the house, electrical fencing sometimes, garage gates, to protect the family, to make the environment of the house to be safe. But sometimes they apply so much effort to avoid the danger to come from outside, inside of the house. And they end up forgetting that sometimes the one who causes harm, the one who is generating violence, is already inside of the house. Many families are divided. Many couples, they are facing marital problems. And usually people, they don't talk much about what's going on inside of their house. And if you are watching this program today and you are living a broken marriage, your family is divided, your children, they are not listening to you. They look like strangers in the house. Division, confusion, fighting, misunderstanding. Get my advice. Come for you to receive for free the blessed handkerchief, my family in the shelter of God Most High with the prayer of Psalm 91. You are going to take this in the church for free and you are going to use it. We are going to talk to you how to say the prayer of Psalm 91. And you are going to see change inside of your house in the behavior of your children. This multitude of people that we are showing to you, again, the image of our Sunday morning service, they have come to join us every Sunday to put their family in the shelter of God Most High and receive for free the blessed handkerchief. Come and join us in one of our universal church near you, if you are watching us from Waycato, we have the Universal Church in Henderson, 610 Victoria Street. You can find the doors of the Universal Church, the shelter of God Most High, for you to come and pray with us this coming Sunday. 
If you are watching us from the west of Auckland, to end sell Peacock Drive, just opposite the police station in Henderson, you can get for free the handkerchief with the prey of Psalm 91. In Mount Roscoe, you can find our church at Dominion Road, 718 Dominion Road, Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning. And the headquarter is located at Tetin Lumb Drive, South Auckland, Emmanuel. Come and join us because God wants to do great things in your life and in your family. Let us watch the testimony of Harish because he had a lot of family problems, marital problems, but he found the door of God's shelter one day open. And he came in and he found here in this place the solution for the problem that he was faced, addiction problem, financial problem, and family problem. Have a look at his testimony. Prepare your glass of water, bottle of water. We are coming close to our moment of prayer. Don't flip channel. Stay with us. I'll come back, talk more about family. My name is Harish Kumar. Uh, before coming to uh, UCKG Help Center, I used to uh, addicted to drugs for 21 years. And back in Fiji, I was uh, uh, with my friends, like used to smoke and drink. Uh, the first thing was my friends, not the families. And uh, whenever I get money, I used to go and spend money in the drugs before buying things at my at my family with my family. And uh, we used to fight a lot, me and my wife. We used to have an argument because of uh, finances, probably because I used to waste all my money in drugs. And we used to, when I get angry, like I used to throw things in the house, like used to break, how many times I chased my wife away, just because of small things. It's not, it's not a big problem, just a small things and it goes big. I have my personal problems too. Um, I was very short-tempered. I get easily angry very fast. And when I get angry, like the thing I just got in my hand, I just throw it. I just mess everything. And I don't know what I, I was doing. And also like, it was hard for me to forgive. Um, I was, every time I think like, oh, why should I forgive? Like people hurt me. They are the ones they should suffer, it's not me. All that thing like I always keep inside of me and I, that's why like it take too long to to me to forgive people. I also was very proud person. Like I always think, oh, I'm the one like, I've got everything. I got jealous inside of me. If I see somebody is like doing something greater than me, I just get jealous very quickly. All those things also combine my, in my marriage to when I get married, these things come with me. Uh, we fight every day in small things. And because of my anger problem and because of his addiction, like it was worst. We get uh, fight always verbally and physically. Um, we can't save money. It's, it was very hard to save money. I always hide money from him. Because I always think in my mind, okay, this is my saving. I save this much money. If he gonna see it, he gonna steal it from me. So I always hide it. He was selling things I didn't know. Some of my gold things were missing. And when I come to ask him, he said like, no, I didn't take it. I didn't took it. I don't know where, maybe you misplaced it. Um, some of the money from my purse, it was missing. So I have to hide it under the carpet, under the rugs, under the bed. So that like how secure I have to be like all the time. I have to hide my jewelries because he was he was start selling the things from the house if he don't get money from like if he finish money from his wages. So that only things left to sell the things from the house. Something happened and we really get angry to each other and that fight goes like worse. We start throwing things to each other and he hit me and like I think I was bleeding or something. No peace at home. No love. So I just getting tired of him. That's why I just want to leave him and go. A day came, like they found out that I was uh, smoking drugs at my workplace, and they, they uh, and the foreman of that uh, 
that company told my boss like that uh, your man is using drugs at, at the workplace. My, my boss asked me like, uh, are you doing that? So I told my boss, I lied to my boss like, oh, no, I'm not doing those things. So we lose uh, a big job just because of me, I was smoking drugs. Then uh, they told, my boss told me we're gonna go for a, a, a drug test. So then what I did, I went to the doctor and I asked the doctor about to give something like uh, to clear my blood. And he told me like, you, I can't do anything because of, uh, you, you smoked so long. I went for uh, the drug test. Before going for the drug test, I, I came across uh, one of the liquor shop. I was like a, by a liquor shop and me and my wife, we were sitting in, 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 in the car and I was drinking. Then uh, one of the ladies, I don't know, she came because uh, the church was opposite the liquor shop. And uh, she challenged me, she said to me like this, she told me like, uh, if you come to this church and if your problem won't be solved, I'm gonna leave this church. So I went in the church, I was sitting down and the pastor was preaching. Like he was saying things, everything was upon me, like what I was going through. So at the end of the, the service, I went and, and talked to the pastor, I said, I told my story because I, have, uh, I, was, I haven't got any hope. And I told the pastor and he told me to come in the morning before you go for a test. We, we prayed together. And I went, went to the church for prayer. In an hour, they found out that there was nothing there in, 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 my, in, my, in my system. So I, I, I straight away thank God in that time because I, I knew that the prayer, the one I did in the morning, it worked. And the guys who were smoking with me in the job side, they all failed and I was passed. And I came to the church and uh, I told uh, everything what, what happened today. So from that day, is now eight years already. I, I'm not smoking anymore. No, I'm free from drugs. He quit everything. Marijuana, his smoking, his alcohol, because coming to UCKG Health Center, I saw the changes that from one day, he just quit everything in one day. So that's changes I saw and I said like, oh, something is there, something is in this church, like, which makes him change. And that can change like our life. So I start coming, I saw him like, the way he was before, he's not the same person. From that day, I started uh, attending more to the service. So from that time, I started learning more from pastors, I st start doing chain of prayers. Any campaign came, and I jump on that campaign to take that campaign. I, I, I was just a worker in, at my place, and then I started improving, and a day came, uh, my boss asked me, like, uh, Haris, I wanna open one of the company, uh, one of the division, uh, is, 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 a, is, a, is a, a pacifier system. It, can, you, can you be a leading hand on that? Then I, I started doing work in that, we was two people, we was working together. So I started looking for the workers and I got maybe about around seven, eight workers with me. So I'm as a manager in that uh, division, like looking after the division, organize people what to do, which job to go, organize with the foreman. Sometimes I have to go and sit down with uh, uh, the, the big bosses who are educated, like they are uh, more educated than me. And I'm sitting there with them explaining them how we're gonna work, which way we're gonna do, and they listen to me. So I was thinking God's, God's uh, plan is, we don't know how his plan is, is more, more than we think. Doing these campaigns, I can see like, putting God first makes a way for you, because every time we use our strength, our, our mind, our strength, and it never works. But when you sacrifice to God, doing giving you all god answers your prayer that's what i see in these campaigns i did many campaigns for my spiritual life to have to to have holy spirit inside of me for my job because i was not working before and for my family life for my love life with, 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 this was one one of the campaigns of uh, campaign of israel and we write it down our prayer request lord we want our, our own house and uh, we need a brand new house, that's what God gave us. I've got my husband, my kids with me, 
and we are happy now. He spent time with me, with my daughter, my kids. We go out, we save money, we can see all these changes. And soon, like, I can, like, see that he's a, like, man of God. He's going, like, looking forward to go to church every time. And doing the wrong things, like, he used to do before, he's not doing it. So that was a big change in him. I so, saw, like, I can say, like, I can live with him now. <laughs> I have already at my hand my glass of water. Did you prepare one for yourself? If you didn't, see if you can prepare because we are going to pray. We are going to talk to God on your behalf. We are going to ask God to visit you. Perhaps you are watching us and you are sick. You are lying on a bed. You are feeling depressive. You are dealing with so much pressure. Your heart is troubled. There is no peace inside of you at all. You don't know what to do to solve these problems that you are going through. We are here to help you, and we can help you. So our doors are open. South Auckland, Petin Lamb Drive, Manukau. Regardless of your religion, culture, or who you are, if you want help, if do you believe that God is real, God exists, and He has power to change your life, I am challenging you. Come. If nothing happens in your life, you don't need to come anymore. But you will only know if what I am speaking to you right now, it is true or not, if you come. So get your car Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning, and drive at the door of one of our UCKG help center. You are going to have a great experience in your life with God's power as the testimony that we showed to you in this program. I want to show to you the highlight of our All Answer event that we had on 1st October at Dewdrop Event Center. We had a multitude of people that came to pray for answers, and they received on this day a free bottle of blessed oil. Have a look at the highlight, and I'll come back with our moment of prayer.
is our communication with God. You watched the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer. My Lord and the Father, I pray and I ask you, my God, visit this person who are there feeling depressed, have even thoughts to put an end to her or his existence in this world. People who have self-harm, people who have suffering with addictions, family problems, couples that they don't know what to do to solve the problems that they are facing in their marriage. They have even considered to divorce because they think that it will not work anymore. Bless, my God, the glass of water, bottle of water, which this person prepared. Those who are watching us from the correctional center, from the prison, those who are in need of peace, my God. There are people praying with us, lying on a hospital bed. Visit this woman, this man. Set them free. Anoint this water so that when they drink, let a miracle happen. Because the days and time of miracles, my God, it is not over. You are the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. So bless the water and generate peace inside of those who are receiving this prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Drink from your water. By faith, it is blessed. Get my advice. You who are watching us, and you say, I was born to suffer. I don't deserve it to be happy. You who are there thinking that for you, there is no way out, no solution. Listen, it is not true. It is not true. God has searching for you. If people, they have despise and reject you, God will never despise you. I want you to know it. Come as you are. And here in this place, you are going to find peace. Your life will change. Listen, your life will change because God is here to change your life. We came to the end of our program Sunday, tomorrow, 10 o'clock in the morning. Get your car and drive. South Auckland at 13 Lamb Drive, Manukau, or in one of our universal church near you. If you are watching us out of Auckland, call us 021-501-271. This number there that appear below your TV screen. Call and speak to one of our pastors. You who need help, we are here to help you. All the best. Keep well. Next week, Saturday, I'll be back here at this channel in the same time to bring to you the word of God. Bye-bye.